Oh, what is this? What is this? A new series on my channel, friends? That's right. We're playing Night in the Woods, and I'm really looking forward to it because I don't know anything about this game other than I was excited whenever it was being announced. I love the art style, and you guys recommended that I play it, so here I am. I thought I, I, I really couldn't find uh, anything to let me know if, if it's appropriate for October, you know, it is a spoopy month after all. I thought maybe we could play a spoopy game or two. Um, but not sure if this is spoopy or not. I, I would imagine it is. It's called Night in the Woods. But we're going to go ahead and start a new game. At one point, I thought this game would never come out. But uh, here we are. All right. Finding my buttons. C. Here we go. In the year Granddad died. Um, oh, we get to pick. So we have we had the worst flood since 1998, and the highway extension came. Let's do the flood option. In the year Granddad died, we had the worst flood since 1998. Greg got trapped on top of a doghouse. The power was out for two days. Casey Hartley came by in his dad's boat, and I laughed when I saw him. Granddad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories and quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. Uh, ooh, they feared death or they went looking for the gods. Let's, I'm going to choose, they went looking for the gods and died in lonely places. On his last day, he sat up suddenly and started and stared bug-eyed through the window. Um... I'm not trying to only pick the first options here, but the first options are pretty solid. Uh, and stared bug-eyed through the window at the old parking lots, wide and sparkling like oceans. He turned to my dad, eyes still wide. This house is haunted, he said, and died. Hmm. Wonder if that's going to change the story at all. Hey, look at us! We are this cat person, and I know from the internet that the cat's name is May. Look at this art style, friends. Well, this is great. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything, but I figured someone would be here. Welcome home, May. Okay, X is jump, right? Oh, I was pressing Z. Okay, X is jump. C is in, is uh, investigate. Wow, when did they put this up? Possum Springs has never looked more falsely advertised. <laughs> and then this button does something, V does something. Oh, V is cancel, okay, all right. Oh, there are multiple dialogue options per investigatable thing. Visitors are going to be so let down when they see the actual town. Prepare to be disappointed, ye who enter here. Our town motto. It must be such a relief to payphone companies that Possum Springs gets zero cell phone reception. It'd be cool to call my parents, but some jerkhole took the time to actually rip it off. Who steals a phone? Yeah, exactly. What are you going to use a phone for by itself? There's just the receiver part. I wonder what they're doing with that phone. Sleeping with it at night. Taking it for walks. Holding it tight. Talking into it. To nobody. Smooching it so right. Ooh, getting a little steamy there. Fiasco Fox, you are too dreamy. Amen. Um, I probably will just try to exhaust all of the options for... Uh, uh, investigatable things. State forest up top, regular forest everywhere else. Woods, woods, woods. Look at that minecart. That's all long gone. Was this made by a time traveler? Hey, it's Garbo and Malloy, everyone's favorite TV show. Welcome back to Garbo and Malloy. What's in the news today, Malloy? Markets were up today. 
way up. I'm looking at a chart and it's pretty impressive. The economy added 15,000 jobs, mostly in the chart sector, in the chart sector, which is notoriously recession proof. That's probably just going to keep playing. What are you doing? Because this is all the music we're getting is this awful noise. Excuse me, but where is everybody? It's 1045. It's closed. Not a lot of folks getting off the last bus to Possum Springs these days. Just you. So we literally can't exit because you're... You didn't expect me to arrive? Um, isn't there supposed to be someone at the desk? Closed. Why are the lights on? Why is the TV on? I get spooked when I'm here by my lonesome. Oh. Can I squeeze past you? Nope. Just broke the damn thing. When did you think it might be done? Right after you go grab me a Fiascola from the machine. Fiascola, huh? Am I paying for this? I always rig it when I'm here after hours. Nice. Free as in free? Free as in no one's here to say otherwise. So the movies... Oh, I thought those were movie titles at first. We have Brush Valley nearby, Fort Lucene... Stanton Town and Bright Harbor. We'll get you a Fiascola. I don't get the pun, though. What the? They have Lime Fiasco and he wants a Fiascola? That's just a waste. I love the jingle. Okay, just gotta grab it. <laughs> I love the little icon. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do my little cat hand. Why not? Oh, I'm actually okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at me. I'm a soda grabbing expert. Yeah, I play video games. What of it? One free ass cola. <laughs> what? That's not how you open a... <sighs> I guess when you've got a screw gun on your hand. Yummers. So what are you doing here? I live here? Well, lived here. Huh, strange. When do you think that door is gonna be finished? Now. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, that was convenient. Uh, bye. <laughs> Ooh, look how pretty this is. Well, I'm right outside town. Mom and Dad, nowhere to be found. Dark and cold. Guess I'm walking. Alone. Look at these lightning bugs. Those are cute. I'm not walking back out to the highway. Probably get hit by a car or something. Hey, where did that janitor go? Did he walk? Well, if you needed a ride, you probably should have asked him before he left, eh? This bus station is maybe the newest thing in Possum Springs. Guess they got state funding or something. It makes a good first or last impression, I suppose. If not for the abandoned glass factory back there. <laughs> not getting rid of that anytime soon. Yeah, well, that's kind of everywhere right now, right? I love the sound of a train, friends. I love it. Wow. I didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. Oh man, Iron Sink right here. I used to hear it in my bed at night, during the winter when the leaves were down. I remember uh, when I used to live in Oklahoma City, there was the sound of a train far off on the tracks and it would create this like high-pitched whining sound is the only way I can uh, uh, describe it. I've never heard it since, but it's definitely one of the most nostalgic sounds for me. Well, I guess I'm going to hike through the woods. Through the woods is home. My bed and my negligent parents. Yeah, where are they? I mean, they're supposed to pick you up from the bus station, right? I would assume. Jumping feels really satisfying in this game. 
Hey, look, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah, maybe this is a spoopy game now that I look at this. I caramba. There used to be an old sawmill around here, I think. I mean, the park up there is called Sawmill Park. Looks like they lost a long a, lo a log load at some point. Sigh. Gonna have to climb this, I guess. Ugh, this is some dank nature. Dank nature and garbage. Are these food donkey sharpening food donkey shopping carts? What the heck is food donkey? That's all the way across town. Oh, it must be a, like a grocery store or something. That's dedication. Shopping bags are little ghosts of grocery stores haunting everywhere else. <laughs> I love that. Oh, wow. I heard a toad. Hello! <laughs> and a ghost owl. I bet there are any number of potential witch familiars down here. I mean, I love that grocery bags are little ghosts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this what we're supposed to do? Uh... Ooh, yikes. That one almost came right at our little head. Oh my god. That was dangerous. I could have died. That was amazing. I am not gonna die in this hole. There we go, that's the spirit. Have a little hope. The colors are so striking, like these red leaves and then the, the amber from the windows while everything else is so cold. Wait, did you hear that? It sounded like a dog barking, maybe? Definitely heard something. Of course, anytime in the, I'm in the woods at night. Do you hear that guitar? That's, that's blatantly Twin Peaks right there. Wow. I haven't been here in maybe 10 years. And apparently no one else has. Ooh, look at that little octopus buddy. I love him. I don't know what they were going for here. Some sort of boat? Castle? Most of it's gone now. Just a thing for weird animals to eat and have babies in. I wonder what kind of weird animals have babies in there. Dirt possums, night snakes, uh, mystery beasts of, all, beasts of all shapes. I remember Kathy Domenko's boyfriend took her here to make out and then break up. And then the next day, Kathy pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring at the Fort Lucene Mall. This entire area is so full of romance. Hey, you can still see Mr. Snorkels on this. Oh, that's the octopus. He's Mr. Snorkels. I love Mr. Snorkels. I would die for you. All right, good to see you, Mr. Snorkels. Ahoy! I definitely remember barely reaching the top of this wheel. I definitely remember barely growing since then. <laughs> Looks like the ladder's gone. If I could just get to the top of this thing, ugh, is that a challenge? I could never make it up onto the onto that tree when I was a kid. The number logs mocked me. The logs and the other kids. Let me see if I can visualize this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can't stop running while I do this, not even for a second. Gotta have enough momentum. Is this a tutorial? I think I can do it. Run and jump, jump, jump. Like Mario 64, like a triple jump. One, two, three. Nice. That was simple enough. It's only been two years since I lived here. Not in this playground. <laughs> Possum Springs, I mean. Thanks for clarifying, May. This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. First of all, no, there shouldn't be an apostrophe or an E in that, but your parents forgot? Your parents forgot you! Um... Oh, 
When you feel out of control, remember that you always have options. Count to 10. Take a deep breath. Take a nice walk. Practice positive self-talk. IPS. Identify possible solutions. Smile. Options. It's good. D good old Dr. Hank. Clueless is all. Get out. Well, that's cute that she has a little sketchbook, though. All right. Is there fall damage in this? Oh. I was about to just, like, fall down, but I guess we're gonna have fun on the power lines, which is never a good idea. Oh. Well, dang it, I went and hecked it all up. What do you think, Mr. Snorkels? Do you think I'm gonna get the hang of this? Maybe I should just give up without even really trying? Hmm. Um. Okay, let's try this run and jump, jump, jump thing one more time. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. X jumps, but so does spacebar. I think I'll just stick with spacebar. Oh, dang it, I didn't even do it! I carumba. Mr. Snorkels, don't watch this. I'm ashamed, Mr. Snorkels. <laughs> Hello, May. Been a while. Hey, what are you doing here? N nothing better to do? I was out here doing my rounds, and I saw you on the very off-limits playground. So? Get in the car, May. No. You want to spend your first night back in jail, May? No. <laughs> I, love, I love how May resigns. It's her... It's her dad? Guess in here. Hey, remember me? Ah! Uh, May, you gave me a heart attack. Good. What are you doing? Oh. May, honey, we thought you were coming tomorrow night. You thought wrong. How did you get here? I walked until I got arrested. By Aunt Mall Cop. Oh, did you say hi to Molly for me? No. I say hi for no one. <laughs> F the cops. Ooh, I love this. I love her. I'm going to bed. Is is my bed still here? Or are we waiting for tomorrow night for that too? Come on, man. Ah, oh, May, so good to hear that voice again. Good night. What does escape do? Oh, dad looks older, question mark? Um, we could go upstairs or we could find out what the, whoa, look at that creepy cat. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If we are cats, then what does it say that we have a cat club? You know what, I'm not gonna think too deeply about it. Good night, dad, dado. Oh, nice nightlight. Nice family photos. This art is beautiful, is it not? There are a few things hanging around in here from the old country. This clock, the trunk in the storage room, and whatever's buried under the house after the cement incident. The cement incident? This thing goes off randomly every month or so. A little wooden duck pops out, makes the weirdest sound. Scares dad half to death every time. Used to joke it was granddad getting even with him from beyond the grave. Well, that's spoopy. This place is spoopy too. Ugh. Since when was, since when is the crawl space all jammed up? Wonder if dad could move them. Oh, the boxes. Oh, the boxes are in the way. Yeah, Dad put him here, I bet. Dad should move him. It's only fair, I suppose. 
Okay, it's just gonna say the same thing over and over again. So far, there's kind of a startling lack of music at the beginning, but it's this game strikes me as one that... Um, ooh, look at our room. This game strikes me as one that's trying to uh, not uh, uh, be overtly, you know entertaining per se it's much more seems like it's much more about slice of life kind of stuff oh i thought i, I didn't i don't know if i missed anything oh well i already love her that's good news even the sound effects are so sparse And then, of course, Final Fantasy waking up at the end music has to play. <laughs> Could play some bass, but which song? Um, Space Dragon. Well, it's the only option, so let's play Space Dragon. Wanderer in space. No matter forbidden pay place. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Found found my buttons. I am horrible at this stuff, friends. Dang it. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is painful. That's painful. Sorry, Franz. Not great at that. <laughs> I hope that's not going to become a really important part of this. Hey, we're getting some music finally. I was so cute then. We were all so cute then. Cuties, the lot of us. We could have we could have a traveling show, the cute Borowskis. Oh, okay, that's our last name. Uh honey. Yeah. Come see me in the kitchen before you leave. Okay. I bet that's May's mom, I would imagine. Yeah, it's her mom. What's up, Momski? Mom... Momowski? Hi, Mom! Welcome home, sweetie. Thanks for not changing the locks. Sorry we mixed up the day you were coming back. It was such short notice. It's okay, Mom. May, honey? Yeah? Is everything okay? Uh... Yeah, what about this? What do you mean? Honey, did something happen? I just needed to come home. Well, sweetie, I think you can understand my worry. That's not usually something a college sophomore just up and does. I know. Honey, you can tell me if something happened. Mom, I'm fine, really. Can we talk about this another time? Sure, honey, it's okay. So I'm kind of gleaning that we left school to come back home to live with our parents. Thanks, Mom. I bet you your old friends will be happy to see ya. You wouldn't happen to know where Greg is, would you? Oh yeah, Greg's working down at the Snack Falcon. Up in town center west by the Click Clack. Um... We have a Snack Falcon now? Oh yeah, it's so handy. You know, ever since the Food Donkey went out... Oh, the Food Donkey's out of business now. The Food Donkey is gone? Oh yeah, going on almost a year now. Wow, where does everyone shop? Everyone goes to the Ham Panther out by the highway now. <laughs> the Ham Panther. But I see your little friend Greg when I go into town. Wow, the food donkey's gone. We have a snack falcon. It's a whole new world, sweetie. Yes, it is. Well, have a good time out there. Lots to explore, see what's changed. I will. Just watch out for all the construction. 
Well, it wouldn't be a fall in Possum Springs without loads of construction. It's so festive, honey. I'll be back later. Bye, sweetie. Aw, I love our mom. Anything else, mom? So what's been happening in town? Well, let's see. Did you hear Mrs. Krangler died? Who? You remember Mrs. Krangler. She taught your Girl Scout troop how to dance. Oh, wow. She was pretty old then, too. <laughs> oh, she was ancient, honey. She was ancient when I was your age. How did she die? From being ancient, honey. <laughs> how old was she? A hundred and fifteen. <laughs> oh, our mom is really rad. Wow. I know, if this were a contest, she'd have won. Well, thanks for this tender moment, Mom. Gotta go find my little friend Greg. Oh, part one, home again. Wow, I'm already getting like really strong vibes of reality here. Like, um, I know I grew up in a really small, oh, kill, kill, kill. What the heck? Wow, lots of stuff is happening. Um, I grew up in a small town, and I went back to my small town after going to school, going to college for a little bit. Um, and everything changed, man. Everything. We got all sorts of new businesses and new places to eat, new restaurants. Um, stuff was closing down like crazy, like a big, a big company that was kind of the lifeblood of my town moved out of our town into a different place, so... I mean, it's a whole, it's a whole different place there now. Well, we're trying to go to the center of town, right? What's up, goat with a huge glowing eye? Hey, Mr. Twigmeyer. May, is that you? Nope. <laughs> I love how sarcastic she is. Well, it looks like May. Bet it smells like May. I have a smell? When you were a kid, Susan used to call you a little dirt ball. <laughs> well, I was a dirt ball. You still are a dirt ball, I bet. Cradle to grave, 100% dirt ball. That's the spirit. See you around, Mr. Twigmire. All right, looks like I can maybe do some splorin potentially. This is so pretty. The quality of the light is very, very pretty. It's one thing if you can get a style with a whole bunch of shapes like this, and that's super cool, right? And super cute, but to add the quality of light like that, I think is really an extra step, you know? This kind of makes me want to keep a, a sketchbook. I really should be sketching. I guess since I've been working on pixel art, I have been neglecting actually sketching. Can I just jump down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mr. Chazakov. Hello, me, my best worst student. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Like the constellations, hated school. Hey, don't knock school. School is vital for your future. What are you doing back in Possum Springs? I dropped out of school. Well, there's our answer to our question, what's happening? Oh, well, if you're still interested in constellations, come by my roof down the hill later this week. Should have my new telescope set up by then. Sure thing. What's up, bird? Hello. What you're doing on my porch? Oh, so, but I thought this was Mr. Uh, Navikov's porch or whatever his name is. Oh, that's cute. What are you up to? Are you wearing a... What is that on your shirt? Selmers! What are you doing home? Dropped out. Wow. Yeah, I guess. So, so like, you just don't go back? That's about it. Weird. This is so slice of life. I'm loving it. They really could have taken this art style and made, you know, just like a fun platformer of some kind or... But they are going for something very different here and I'm really enjoying figuring out what that is. 
I remember when B's family had a house and not a tiny depressing apartment. Hey, it's the Harleys. What are you doing? Little Joe, you're under arrest. Oh wow, kids still talk about Little Joe? We used your DNA. Uh... <laughs> ghosts don't have DNA. Yeah, ghosts don't have DNA. Hey lady, can you leave us alone? Lady? Lady? I'm only a sophomore in college. Yeah, leave us alone, lady. Lady? Yuck. My mom is lady, thank you very much. Not me. Danny, right? Yep. I think you were a senior when I was a freshman? Probably. How's it going? Just lost my job. Oh. Oh no! They say construction's always hiring, but it's not. In fact, it's often laying off guys named Dan. What are you gonna do? I'm open to suggestions. I mean, don't give up seems placating. Let's say this. I'm sure someone in town is hiring. I've been out of work for a year before. And this time I only lasted six months before get, be, being laid off. Do you know what that does to a resume? Not really. I have a zombie resume. It's dead, but somehow it's still going all over the place. <laughs> Oh, man, this is very real, you know. I don't have a job either. Oh man, sorry to talk your ear off about it. How are you holding up? Good, just dropped out of college and I'm living with my parents. <laughs> oh, so you're basically a teenager again. No, I'm just an adult living with her parents. Oh, okay, so it's not like you're unemployed. It's like you're lacking a daytime hobby that pays money you don't need for rent. All right. I'm gonna get going. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is similar to being a teenager again, but you're out of the butterfly soup phase and everyone expects you to be a butterfly. Well, what if you still are butterfly soup, man? What if you're still Butterfly Soup? Oh look, I it's Cat Hand time again. Ooh, missing. Casey Hartley, 19 of Possum Springs. Last seen at dusk on June 27th walking westward along the tracks behind the former food donkey. He was wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, jeans, and black canvas shoes. If you have any information as to the location of Casey Hartley at any time since his last known sighting, Please contact the Possum Springs Police Department immediately. Hmm. Maybe this is a spoopy game. Harfest, Possum Springs annual harvest tacular. Ugh. Celebrate the fall colors with your neighbors. Rides, contests, food, games, and the annual crazy costume parade. October 21st through 24th Town Center. Sponsored by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Blessed Rest Funeral Parlor. <laughs> Blessed rest. Uh, Katrosser and Katrosser attorneys and Ham Panther. Oh, I can shift stuff around. Well, you're a cat, right? Oh, well, that's just patronizing. Who would leave this here? <laughs> I love that. Come on, you know you want it. You know you want it. Oh, man. It bounces. All right, so we can move stuff around. Possum Springs. What does it say? More like Awesome Springs. Scrapbooking Odyssey. Katie Washington has never lost a child. Oh, need a babysitter. Haha, <laughs> I love this. And for any of you babysitters out there, consider a flyer that says, Need a babysitter? Insert your name here. Has never lost a child. <laughs> I love it. Firewood for sale. I have too much firewood. I don't even know how. So, so much firewood. <laughs> Alright. So we're looking for our friend Greg. And he works someplace that I've forgotten the name of. 
usually someone fishing here for tunnel fish, because why the hell not? The tunnel flooded and we lost a bit more land to the fish. Pierogi, pierogi, plat, what is a pierogi? Trolley side news. Hey, I just got back in town, and the one thing I missed most was, hey, I remember you. Hello. Thief. Wait, what? Oh, come on. That was years ago. Once a thief, always a thief. All right. You know what? Oh. I'm not a thief. You take that back. I've stolen from better places than this. <laughs> I wouldn't lower myself to steal from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go jump in the river. Wait, what? What is this? What is that prompt for? Delicious pretzels. Oh, it, I thought for a minute we were gonna have like a try to steal a pretzel, be a thief minigame with our paw. And not our dad, our paw. You know what I mean. Hey teens. Hey. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Cool. Cool that people still hang around down here. We used to do that when I was in high school. Yeah. I wasn't in high school that long ago, you know. <laughs> How old are you? 20. Oh, so you can't buy us beer? No. Do you have a car? No. Hmm. All right, well, good talk, friends. What a good talk. This is like, this is so real. This feels like going back to my hometown, kind of. Social Security Administration. Possibilities? Are you kidding me? There's an Italian pl a family, Italian place called Possibilities? I am in love with this game. Okay, what the heck? Is this a cat? Look, it's a cat! But I'm a cat! And I have a cat clock! And I have so many questions! Video Outpost 2, eh? 2? Is that like, 2? Or like, also? This is an error so bad even I wouldn't make it. <laughs> I guess that's not where Greg works, eh? This game is like, Richard Scary, but... Uh, Richard Scary, if he had dropped out of school as a sophomore in college and then come back to his hometown. It's almost five, quitting time. Kick back some brews and watch the smelters. The smelters? What is a smelter? Can I go in there? No. Oh, Snack Falcon, this is where Greg works. Okay. I remember snack to school. I love it. Crunched or angry pepper, megazillion power prime. Oh my gosh, it's this is Greg, right? Oh my god. Hey Greg. What are you doing here? I'm back. Like back is in today? Back is in back. Too bad you didn't die at college. Uh, too bad you didn't die catching a flesh-eating disease. Too bad you didn't join a murder cult. Too bad you didn't lose all your limbs in a freak soda machine accident. God, it's good to see you. Ah! <laughs> How's Angus? You two, you two still a thing? Hold on. Wait, what? What are you doing? Changing the music. Oh. What? Uh, Angus. What are you doing here? I live here. Since when? Since last night, 11 or so. That's amazing. Come to band practice. Oh my god. The band is still a thing? 
Sure! Oh, I hope we don't have to do that one, two, three, four thing again. When's practice? Now! Wait, when do you get off work? Now! Really? <laughs> so, who's. Is there someone who's gonna take over for you, or what exactly is happening here? Ah! <laughs> I love Greg. He's so excited to see us. And his leather jacket looks pretty slick, I've gotta admit. Birthday zone. Hi, Angus. Well, it looks like we are about to have band practice, friends. So in the next episode of Kip Plays... Oh, I almost called it Welcome to Night Vale. Next episode of Kip Plays Night in the Woods, we are going to do whatever this is. So thanks a lot for watching. I have been and I will continue to be Kip Icon as long as you, friends, continue to follow your drams. Bye. <laughs>